For workbooks that have fairly regular tables in place, Monarch's Excel Worksheet Design has convenience features that automatically create detail traps, columns, and tables for us. This video takes a closer look at the Auto Define table and Add Columns features, as well as Define headers, which we'll see later. Auto Define table and Add Columns are available when a row is selected or when multiple cells are selected. These may be found as buttons or in the right-click menu. Let's try Auto Define table. Monarch automatically created these traps for us, which in turn captured the data from our detail columns. We can refine the traps at this point by maybe excluding rows or going right into a trap and editing the properties from there. But in our case, these are the data values we want and the columns that we want, so we can put in our headers next. You can either go into each column and type in what you want, or use Define Headers. Select the row or rows where the column headers are and click on Define Headers. In our case, Monarch easily assembled the headers even if these occupy multiple rows. The time, reading, type and location for the AM and PM chlorine tests are properly labeled. Now let's clear this out and this time let's select a few cells instead of the entire row and choose Auto Define Table again. Monarch created a table out of only these three columns. We can still use Define Headers as well to put in our column headers. Note that Monarch issues a warning if you select something else, say this row, and then click Auto Define Table. Choose Yes if you are okay with clearing all templates and columns and defining a new table. Let's try Add Columns on this next worksheet. Select a row and then Add Columns. Monarch also created a trap for us and captured all the columns in the row we selected. Define headers will also easily fill in our column headers based on the row we chose. Let's clear our trap and this time select a few cells instead of an entire row and click on Add Columns. This results in just the three columns in our grid. We can even choose to add a few more columns, even non-consecutive ones. And of course, clicking on Define Headers still gets the correct header for each column in our grid. Add Columns will also work for cells occupying the same column in a multi-line selection rather than cells in different columns as we just saw. To illustrate, have a look at this worksheet where each record occupies three rows like so. Let's set a trap on the patient and create a column as well. Now notice that each patient has up to two symptoms. Let's capture these as two separate columns. You could select each symptom and then click Add Column twice. However, an easier way would be to simply select the first symptom, drag down to include the second symptom, and click Add Columns. Monarch creates two separate columns for each of the symptoms.